Hello, this is the Registry Partners Oncology Coding Break for Grade Coding Updates 3.0 and 3.1, February 2024. I am referencing the Grade Manual Coding Instructions version 3.1 here, and we're talking about autopsy grading. Grade from autopsy can be used if a patient dies and has an autopsy within the initial workup and treatment for their cancer, minus any signs of progression. We cannot assume autopsy grade is assigned to the pathological grade. We assign the findings from the autopsy based on the appropriate time frame. Here is a case example. The patient has abnormal screening colonoscopy plus a colon biopsy of invasive adenocarcinoma. The patient has a positive liver biopsy that is consistent with colon primary, and the patient completes chemotherapy. The patient expires and autopsy is performed, which shows invasive adenocarcinoma moderately differentiated. The autopsy information is not used for any grading time frame here. Since the autopsy was not done during initial workup or through the first course of treatment. Our next case example has a patient that has a X ray of the chest and a CT of the chest that shows a 9.5 centimeter left upper lobe large mass with complete obliteration of left upper lobe bronchus and lymphatic carcinomatosis. Core biopsy of the lung is performed, which is positive for primary pulmonary adenocarcinoma. The patient is a candidate for pembrolizumab and would like to proceed. However, the patient expires. An autopsy is performed, which shows poorly differentiated lung adenocarcinoma. The autopsy findings meet the clinical time frame. It was diagnosed prior to death slash autopsy and no surgery of the primary site is performed prior to death. Our next, next case example has a patient with a left tongue biopsy that shows ulcerated invasive squamous cell carcinoma, moderately differentiated, and then has a left partial posterior glossectomy and a left neck dissection that shows invasive squamous cell carcinoma, keratinizing moderately differentiated. The patient expires shortly after an autopsy is performed. The autopsy shows poorly differentiated keratinizing squamous cell carcinoma. Autopsy findings meet the pathological time frame because there was a primary site surgery shortly before death. And another case example, Patient has an autopsy that shows adenocarcinoma moderately differentiated of the rectum as cause of death. Patient did not have any cancer diagnosis prior to death. For this, the patient, the autopsy findings cannot be used for any grade time frame. The patient was diagnosed at autopsy. Next, we have corpus carcinoma and carcinosarcoma updates. For endometrioid carcinomas, we can assign code 2, FIGO grade 2, if low grade is documented, and assign code 3, FIGO grade 3, if high grade is documented. An example has an endometrioid biopsy that shows endometrioid carcinoma high grade, and a hysterectomy and bilateral salpingo-oophorectomy, which shows an endometrioid carcinoma high grade. So we will document code 3 clinically and pathologically. Next we have version 9, brain, CNS, other, and intracranial gland. Code 2 has been updated, WHO grade 2, infiltrative tumors with low proliferative potential with increased risk of progression or recurrence. The updated instruction includes the increased risk of progression or recurrence. Code 3, WHO grade 3, shows tumors with histologic and or molecular genetic evidence of malignancy that are associated with an aggressive clinical course. 
The updated instruction does take out the wording of nuclear atypia and mitotic activity. Code 4, WHO grade 4, tumors with histologic and or molecular genetic evidence of malignancy that are associated with the most aggressive clinical course and shorter overall survival. These instructions have been completely rewritten for code 4. And these are updated notes for all of the grades, clinical, post-therapy clinical, pathological, and post-therapy path for version 9 brain, CNS, other, and intracranial gland. Next, we have a note 6 update for code 9 of grade post-therapy path, YP. Surgical resection is done after neoadjuvant therapy and grade from the primary site is not documented, and there is no grade from the post-therapy clinical workup. The updated instruction includes, and there is no grade from the post-therapy clinical workup. That's also the updated instruction for surgical resection is done after neoadjuvant therapy, and there is no residual cancer, and there is no grade from the post-therapy clinical workup. We also have an update for note 6 under code 9 for grade pathological. Surgical resection is done and grade from the primary site is not documented and there is no clinical grade. And surgical resection is done and there is no residual cancer and there is no clinical grade documented. general grade coding instructions for solid tumor rules, new number four general instructions, general guidelines for coding all four new grade data items. It includes the priority for grade. First we have the synoptic report including the CAT protocol. The pathology report is next with the final diagnosis and then the physician statement. Here is a case example for priority order for grade. The colon ascending mass biopsy showed a moderately differentiated intestinal type adenocarcinoma. Then a right hemicolectomy was performed. Final diagnosis showed, adeno, showed ascending colon moderately diff mucinous adenocarcinoma. And the CAT protocol states the tumor site was ascending colon, the histology was mucinous adenocarcinoma, and the grade was poorly differentiated. Clinical grade will be documented as moderately differentiated. This is the grade documented in the biopsy, which is the clinical time frame. Then we go to the pathological time frame, and we have the surgical resection. The final diagnosis shows moderately differentiated, and the CAT protocol shows poorly differentiated. When we have a discrepancy, we follow the priority order for grade, and it tells us to use the CAT protocol first before the final diagnosis. The pathological grade will be documented as poorly diff because it was on the CAT protocol. So in summary, Read the grade notes. Numbers may have changed due to additions. Please refer to all notes within the site-specific schemas. Also note, the numbers on CRRSA may be different depending on the site. Autopsy grading has been added to provide information on when to assign certain grading timeframes. Endometrioid carcinoma has added notes to help assign code 2 and 3 when low grade or high grade is documented. Version 9, brain, CNS other, and intracranial gland has updated more details in the notes to help with assigning codes 2, 3, or 4. And grade post-therapy path and grade pathological has clarified when code 9 should be assigned. And the general guidelines, priority for grade has been added to assist when to assign grade based on priority of synoptic report, pathology report, the final diagnosis or physician statement. Thank you for joining. Have a good day.